Hello, welcome back to another 1001 Beers. You must try before you die. It's been a while since I've done a review. Been very busy running Beer Festival. That's all over now. Uh, I'm actually, it's nice and summery now. We're now in May. Sunshine is out. It's quite warm. So therefore, I'm going to review a Christmas beer. Typical. Uh, I've had this in my stash since actual Christmas um, uh, 2018. So I thought I'd review it. I fancy a beer. Uh, first brewed in 1971, it's 8.1%, and it's one of the few English beers left for me to review. Oh, actually, it's now 75 according to the bottle, which is slightly more palatable. It is Harvey's Christmas Ale. Never had this before. I've always liked Harvey's beers. I've had quite a few of them. Uh, I see that I've reviewed the Harvey's Best Piss, and I've had that quite a few times, uh, but I've never had the Christmas Ale. So let's have a look at the design. I mean, it's a lovely Christmassy design. It's got a picture of what I presume is Harvey's Brewery with some, with some casts outside and then Santa and his sleigh going across the moon there in the back and some sort of snow falling, I think. Some snow covering the ground. It says, a strong, dark barley wine full of fest festive spirit. Lewis Sussex. Okay. Brewed and bottled in Lewis. Uh... Oh, interesting. It says, we will wash and refill this bottle. Please return for deposit refund. Oh, I've never seen a brewery do that before. That's good. Um, all right, a little story out the back. Here, a traditional barley wine, the biscuit, malt and vinous or vinous fruit palate is balanced by a strong hot bitterness. It is warming and reflects the spirit of Christmas. Recipient of Finland's Olut Syra Olv Rikiti Award, I'm going to say that would have been wrong, clearly. Award for ex excellently fulfilling the Christmas beer regulation described in Alexis's Kiwi's novel, Seven Brothers. Oh, okay, I don't know what on earth that's talking about. Uh, some nice emboss embossing on the bottle here. So without uh, further ado, I'm going to just crack on, I think. Crack this open. I do like a barley wine, so I'm hoping this one's not too massively sweet, but... I do like a Christmas beer in general. Which I think probably can be enjoyed all time of year. It's not very bottle conditioned. It's only a nice diddy bottle, so I'm quite pleased about that. Um, oh, I can smell the booze, so I'm going to let that sit there for a minute. Uh, so let me tell you a little bit. The tasting notes. So velvety, it slips down the throat, but not before you marvel at its deep amber colour and woody aroma. The sweetness is like molasses sugar, and there's plenty of cinnamon to match. Okay, it's probably going to be quite sweet. Not my favourite type, but we'll see. You know, who knows? Right, so first of all, it says deep amber colour. Yes, very much. Woody aroma. Let's go for the smell. It's a bit woody. It doesn't smell too sweet. It smells quite a little bit... Yeah, kind of like... Yeah, that kind of roasted fire wood smell. Um, there's almost no head to it whatsoever, which I wouldn't really expect. A beer of this alcohol level. So I think we should just go for it, and then I'll tell you more about... Uh, the brewery and the beer very very soon so cheers oh that's very nice i was expecting it to be overly sweet but it's really not it's the sweetness is spicy sweetness that is very very tasty um it is velvet so velvety it slips down the throat it hasn't got much for not it's the aftertaste is just like a nice sort of sprinkling of christmasy sweetness uh, that's, that's a really good beer. I'm definitely going to have this again if I see it at Christmas time. Um, it says, so this is not one of their cast beers. It's only a bottle beer. So Christmas, it says, the brewery has long enjoyed a love affair with fine cast beers, but Christmas Ale has proven that the firm's bottle beer is equally good. And the seasonal winter warmer is deservedly popular. Uh, best savoured rather than swigged. It says, if you're not, it's something about if you're not accustomed to the barley wine palette, uh, style, I am accustomed. It's heavily hot. Uh, it's expressive of the brewery's artisan approach and contains ingredients locally sourced from Sussex and the neighbouring counties of Kent and Surrey. The water for the beer is drawn from the on-site well. Doesn't say anything about what hops or malt it uses. It says it's a good accompaniment to a good juicy steak. Well, I'll have to try that sometime. Uh, it says, although it's a seasonal, the brew is so popular that Harvey's has always produced enough to last throughout the year. Well, there we go. So um, even as the Christmas beer, I'm, drink I'm fine to drink it throughout the rest of the year because it's meant to be drunk throughout the rest of the year. Um, I want to say something about another beer they make. Well, this is, oh yes, it says, the sweetness is like molasses sugar, plenty of cinnamon to match. That's the sort of the, the kind of spicy, and not spicy as in like hot spicy, but as in kind of like that Christmassy, cinnamony sort of cloves taste.
that's a beautiful bit. It does not taste like seven and a half percent. I'll be honest. It um oh, it's got oats in it as well. Oh, interesting. I've just seen the bottle where it says oats. That is a really solid, easy going beer. Um, I'm de if I see this at Christmas again, I'm definitely going to have it. Or if I see it any time of year, I'm definitely going to crack one of these open at Christmas because this is a really nice one. And I reckon if I can get a few of these, these are great ones to share or give us Christmas presents, in fact. Uh, if you've got a beer lover in your life, I would say this is a good one to give because it's actually not... It's Christmassy without being really, really challenging. It's a good... It's a classic Christmas ale. Yeah, good work, Harvey's. I mean, you've not let me down yet any of the beers you've done so far. So, good work. I'm going to leave it there and get to enjoy the rest of this very nicely. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you for another review very, very soon.